This is Machuka Nyarieko TV Talk Show, where we analyze politics and governance issues. We focus on national, local, and international news. We examine the political way of our people, social and economic. Nyarieko TV Talk Show, the house of ideas. Hello viewers, it is a wonderful moment to the members of the public, citizenry, especially at this time that they have been following the proceedings both in the National Assembly and the Senate in relation to the impeachment of the Deputy President of, the, of Kenya regarding the shower. One can argue that uh, the impeachment can be likened to the story of Simon Maconde, who within one week of his birth does everything and including marriage, death and a burial. So that is how wonderful the story is. Sometimes sad to most of Kenyans who especially understands the rules of land, those who understand our constitution. It can be political, but as what uh, several implications. Kind of if you are watching this channel for the first time, subscribe so that whenever we produce a, a similar video. YouTube will automatically notify you and thanks to our subscribers back to our topic and I begin by asking uh, this question do you think Rigathi Gashawa has a case to take to the Supreme Court do you think Rigathi Gashawa has a case to take to Supreme Court just uh, put your comments on our comment section so that they can uh, also be able to inform our thinking as well as I will be able to know the feelings of my viewers I will be I like be sorry to my viewers since I've been uh, not been uploading videos for quite uh, some time for about five days it is because of the nature of these things sometimes we keep watch the behavior of the members whom we trusted and gave power uh, to represent us uh, how they behave. Uh, one of the issues that is outstanding is the issue of uh, uh, public participation in relation to this case. But one most important, which to me I feel will bring about the strength of the case of Rigati Gashawa is his illness. Because uh, 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 the rules and the constitution provides that in such a, an uh, event, the accused has go, uh, should have a, uh, an opportunity to be heard. And here comes a case when the accused is not given an opportunity because of his illness. Of course, it came at a time when no one is expected, no one expected that it was going to come. And in most cases, or in all cases, illness or death will not tell you that this is the time we are coming. And of course, the events that have been taking place would have uh, made him to go into that condition. But, the Senate 
having been informed that their customer, their client of whom his life was under their, their hands is sick, they proceeded and went on to footing. What was the hurry for? For instance, they had up to Saturday, and of course these are rules and policies. They had up to Saturday evening to wait so that they can uh, see whether even gets better. What is this rule that binds them within a uh, stipulated thing? As they come, have our members of Senate become like the Pharisees. Of course, from the people, you know what they did. They kept, for instance, the day than they could assist. Have they become Pharisees? Of the Bible, of course. What is this that was so urgent that the statement of a vacant position is made at night, the Senate is called in the morning to receive the, the, the documentations from uh, uh, at the head of state to read the appointment from the head of state to forward it to the National Assembly for approval. And that's why I say it's like the story of Simon Maconde. Will this position be safe? Remember the case of Wambora. It took some time to be determined, but the Supreme Court did argue that uh, Wambora had been in that position legally, but quite after some time. Will this case of if they press a court, if they put an appeal, if they petition these processes, will it take, how long will it take? Now that Kinnick has been appointed to that position, how long will it take for the CS4 interior to be appointed. What if the courts dispute the process? Because I'm very sure with the capacity of our courts, they will not allow it. If there are some issues, they will not allow it. They will not allow the government to continue because in the near future, they will have this habit of doing important things within a day. Actually, things that have been stipulated together to take about uh, 80 days and more. Those activities being carried out within a day. In my honest opinion, and from the manner in which these individuals, the honorable members have, beha have misbehaved, not behaved but misbehaved, there is a likelihood that much of what they were doing was totally unconstitutional, that is why they were waking up by or they were starting the activities from morning to late the night and 
the following day the same and within say a few days they have completed so we are waiting for this magic whereby Kindiki will be given a position and it will be taken short three by the courts and if you, you look at how voting was being done in the national assembly you is when you clearize that ethnic is real regional is real political party psychovans dominated very few individuals were able to use up their minds others were whipped and then we trust the institution national assembly has failed the senate has failed how we can bring the glory of these two houses back is in the question it will take time unless the agencies come up with totally new people new president new figures who will bring back the glory of our national assembly but as these things stand they will continue to have or to maintain the status quo so let's wait uh, for the decision that will be taken by the former deputy president regarding Gashawa and see what will be done by the courts. Thank you and have a pleasant evening.